Michael Sata, the fifth president of Zambia, has died in a London hospital. The 77-year-old had been receiving treatment for an undisclosed illness. Dr. Gaonda was saying he wants South Africa to be liberated so that it can be the workshop of Africa. But now you are more than the workshop of Africa. Concern over Sata's health has been mounting since June. He disappeared from the public eye and was then reported to be getting treatment in Israel. He missed a scheduled speech at the United Nations in September amid reports that he had fallen ill in his New York hotel. A few days before that, he had attended the opening of parliament in Lusaka, joking that he was not dead. Sata had not been seen in public since his return from New York in late September. I stand before you, before the women and men of Zambia, and before our children with humility, with honor, and with hope for our future. It is in he had ruled a southern African country, the continent's second largest copper producer since 2011. He started his career as a police officer, railway employee, and trade unionist. After independence in 1964, he worked his way up the ruling United National Independence Party. He became known for his hands-on approach, including cleaning streets himself. Sata later distanced himself from his first post-independence president, Kenneth Kaunda. He defected to the movement for multi-party democracy. He served in several ministerial positions under the MMD. In 2001, he founded his own party, Patriotic Front, which won the 2011 elections with 42% of the vote. To his critics, an authoritarian populist. But Sata presented himself as a champion of the poor. In 2008, Zambia lost its president, Levi Mwanawasa, who died in France nearly two months after suffering from a stroke during the African Union Conference. Sata leaves behind a country buckling under the weight of unemployment at 60%. Lehana Tsutetsi, SABC News.